here at the rotary field, uh, Lake Trobe's rotary field, which is a beautiful place to, to go for a day. Uh, right up here, Arnold, Arnold Palmer actually lives there, and so this is kind of like his area too. My high school's up above that. And uh, there's a town I live in up there. Here's Arnie Palmer's uh, golf course, uh, Lake Trobe Country Club. Uh, one of the nice exclusive little places to, to golf at if you know him. But I'm going to walk that. I'm not here to talk about Arnie Palmer today. I'm not going to go for a walk up on what out west they call a mountain range. It goes up along there. Around here we call them a uh, foothill. <laughs> out west they call them a mountain range. But uh, that's what I'm doing today. It's up on top of this hill here. Really tough. Hard walk. Here's the town I live in. And you can see the ridges and mountains where that uh, the town is in the middle of Youngstown's been there for oh, a couple hundred years. I live over there somewhere, right up in there, and uh, well, there's the main stretch, so I live probably behind that tree right there. But I'm gonna go walk around a little bit and see what I can find in the woods here. It's interesting. Now here's some movement down in here. There's an upper trail and a lower trail. Okay, very quiet. I'm gonna take the upper trail because there's a big field over here. It runs way alongside this ridge that uh, my cousin, be like a second cousin of mine, he owned it. And uh, the deer love to go down there. They have everything they need. This is kind of a little hidden area in the middle of town actually between White Trove and Youngstown. It, uh, it's because of the positioning of it everything else goes around this little valley. Nobody really knows it's there and they can kind of have all their food and all of their um, water and everything else without anybody bothering them. And of course on this side here is a drive-in movie theater, so they're not really bothered by anybody. It's a very dense forest. You have your trees like cherry, uh, maple, some uh, sycamore like that right there, and some pine. Now I've gone further down this gully and uh, there's water down here. You can see, you know, why. Being quiet and listening to your surroundings is very important. You can have a deer. I've literally had people have deer or animals five feet in front of them and they don't even see them. In here they can hide very easily. Uh, they hear you when you walk by through the leaves that are crackling. This is in the springtime before the leaves come out. Uh, up on this ridge, you know, that's where that deer trail was on is at. They hear you come and they just lay down. And they lay down, they stay quiet, and you walk right by them, you never know it. A lot of being out in nature and getting in tune with your own instincts is having the ability to be quiet and to. It is a very, very type type of uh, meditation and uh, self being. Uh, get you back in touch with what you need as a human being to be calm and patient and compassionate. Uh, my grandfather taught me a lot of this. We would go for walks in the woods a lot. Here again is another deer trail. You can see there is some water down in there that deers can get to that are... It's probably not something I'd want to be drinking, but to them, I mean, that's all they've got. I have the suspicious feeling I'm not going to find any deer today. The only tracks I have found are ones that are old, so... I've only actually seen them out here one time before, so... It's not a bad thing. But it's nice to get out. Let's go for a walk. Enjoy the world around you.